Definitely the most interesting thing about this is the, the fact that this is an acoustic piano that you can put into silent mode by using the pedal here. I have it locked into place. And then what happens is, okay, what we have here is a 1994 Yamaha U1 and it has the silent function. So they only made these for two years or they actually only made them for the US market for two years in 1993 and 1994. And it actually had a special model designation as MP100. So if you see one of those MP100, you'll know it's a U1 silent. This one's in really great condition. Uh, it's got a split top, which will allow some of the sound off of the front of the strings. Most pianos, you can only get, uh, you know, sound coming out of the sounding board at the rear of the piano, but this one has several listening positions. You can do it closed. You can actually use the lid prop like this, or you can play it completely open, which is how I did it when I had it. <clears throat> so it's an ebony polish. Finish is in great condition. Uh, bench is showing somewhere. There's a little scratch here on the bench that shows up in a certain light, but usually I just duck the bench under like this or sit on it. That solves that problem. <laughs> but here's a little clip of the piano playing. Check it out. Definitely the most interesting thing about this is the, the fact that this is an acoustic piano that you can put into silent mode by using the pedal here. I have it locked into place. And then what happens is, is there isn't any sound other than the mechanical sound of the uh, key depressing and the action allows you to play silently. So you just take this headphones Plug the headphone into the headphone jack there and flip it on. And uh, then we'll play a nine foot concert grand sample through the headphones. And these are Yamaha Studio headphones that come with the piano and they were the original headphones for the piano. And so another cool thing is, is it does have a MIDI output also. So one other way you could use this is you could plug it into either a computer or you could plug it into a uh, into another workstation or another keyboard and that would allow you to play any of those sounds using the real piano action and you could also uh mix the two together so if you wanted you know like say for instance you wanted to play piano but you want to also layer strings or a choral sound over it, you could do that And then finally, one other way you could use this is you could use the audio output to output the sound to a larger speaker uh, or amplifier. And that way you could amplify the nine foot concert grand sound uh, as well. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're interested in the piano, feel free to reach out to Alamo Music 210-224-1010. Thanks for listening.
Thanks for listening.